Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I'm going to discuss uh, Snagit 2020, which just came out. Today is Saturday, November 2nd, 2019. This came out just last week. Snagit is a screen capture program. I've been using it for at least 15 years. If I had to pick one of my top five applications that I cannot do without, Snagit's in there, including Excel, Gmail, and Outlook, and uh, probably something else. Anyway, let me show you this really cool feature in Snagit 2020. And Snagit is not free, but it's only 49 bucks. Uh, you own it forever, and you can put it on two computers. You could put it on a PC and a Mac. Uh, you could put it on two PCs. So for 49 bucks, it is a great application to have. Here's the new feature in Snagit 2020. I need to do a screenshot of Excel and someone asked me how to use the geography data type. So I pulled up Microsoft Excel. I've already gone to the data tab. I'm going to hit print screen. I just set up the keyboard shortcut. Snagit pulls up and wants to record the screen. I'm going to record from right here is the word data. Notice that there is geography. So I'm going to do a screenshot starting right here. Pull down. And I believe that's enough stuff right there. I tell you, I'm going to take it over here to filter because a lot of people use filter. So this will give them a good screenshot of where they're at. I'm going to let go. It throws it in to the Snagit editor. It says it up at the top in the title bar. So that's one screenshot. The next screenshot I need to do for him, I'm actually going to highlight these states. Here's geography. I'm going to click it one time. Watch, watch the icon appear to the left of every state. So that is how you use the geography data type right there because I might want to know what is the capital of each state and there it is. So here's the second screenshot and that's going to be print screen. So I want to record the states and the cities maybe. So now I have two screenshots. Well I need to send them to somebody and I don't have to keep doing file save as I want to put together screenshots and text. So I'm going to hold down the control key because in the bottom left corner, the first screenshot selected. So now I got two screenshots. And by the way, the first screenshot was not selected. It was the second. Now I've got both, but actually they're in the incorrect order. So I want to combine them together. So I'm going to right click. <clears throat> Pull this up just a tad so you can see this. I've got two selected. I'm going to right click. Combine in template is the new feature in Snagit 2020. There's also the keyboard shortcut listed below. I'm going to click that once. This is so cool. So it wants me to combine both screenshots. And it's going to allow me to type text too. It shows up filter based on the number of selected images. I've only got two selected. So it gave me, I'm counting these, three, six, nine, gave me 11. If you want to see all the options, you just turn that off. We had 11 before. Three, six, nine, 12. I got 14 now. I'm going to just click back here. So if you want to see them all, just turn off the filter. I've only got two screenshots, so I'm either probably going to use this one that says portrait or I may use this one right here that says landscape. I'm going to end up doing both because there's two ways to do this, but let me just start off with the portrait one. Portrait. Now, before I hit next, I want to point out I got two screenshots, but the first screenshot that I took really needs to be the first one. So I'm going to hit next. There are the two screenshots. This one needs to be the first one, so I'm going to just drag it and let it go. So it's just a drag and drop. There you go. So this one's first, that's one second. Do you want to have a title? Sure, this is Excel. 
geography data type. I'm going to hit combine and it's going to combine them in a portrait screen. By the way, I'm recording right now, so it's only at 40%. So if I went to actual size, this actually looks a whole lot better. So I'm going to go back to fit the screen so you can see this. Now, in this first screenshot, I really want to let geography stand out. So this is another cool feature. I can double click. I can either shrink it or expand it. I can also move it, but it's going to keep it inside that placeholder. So I really want people to see geography. I kind of want them to see data, so I'm going to double click again. Pull it, shrink it down just a tad. There's data. And there's geography. Now for the second screenshot, again, I'm going to just do this. I can double click. I just wanted to see the states. So I could do this if I wanted to. It's a little bit off, so let me shrink that down. There we go. I can type text over here. So it says before. You don't have to use the word before. Those These are just text boxes. Start here. I could do numbers and bullets, but just to show you this, look, I'm typing text. It's putting it in here. I would put in the steps, uh, open Excel, click on the data tab. But once you're done, this is really nice. I can save this as a PDF file, save as. Right now, by default, it's a JPEG, which is still fine, but I could make this a PDF. So you have all these different file types to do. So that was example number one. Here I go one more time with it. So assume, let me get rid of this one. So I've done the two screenshots. This time I'm still going to use the template. Create image from template. So I only have the default, the last image is selected right now down in the bottom left corner. And then it says, okay, it doesn't pull up filter because I haven't, it doesn't know how many images I have. I did portrait earlier. I just want to point this out. That's multiple images. That would be three images running portrait. There's four images. So they have all these different filters in here, all these different templates. I'm going to pick this one right here this time because I'm going to go landscape. I see two images on it. Click on create. It opens up landscape and I'm just going to simply drag and drop an image and let go. Same thing applies as before. I can double click and I can resize the image and I'm going to drag and drop, let go. If the image looks good to you, just leave it. I could double click and move it. Maybe it's a little bit off there. Just pull it up just a tad. I can change the text again. I'm not going to do it, but there's before and after. It probably needs to say step one, step two. Anyway, that is the new feature in Snagit 2020. I'm going to go to help just to show you this. About Snagit, it says 2020. I have an affiliate link down below. You don't pay any more money, but this helps support my YouTube channel. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions about Snagit 2020 or Snagit in general, let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.